Lewis Hamilton tipped for shop teammates switched during 2019 season Mercedes tied Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas down to new contracts earlier this year and the pair helped to deliver both the Drivers' and Constructors' Championship. However, Bottas was only given a 12-month deal and he finished fifth in the end-of-season standings. The Finns' future with the Silver Arrows remains uncertain and Villeneuve thinks a slow start to the new campaign could see him sacked. And he has tipped young Mercedes driver Esteban Ocon, who is without a seat for next year, to get the nod. I think there is a possibility that Bottas will be replaced by Esteban Ocon during the 2019 season, Villeneuve told Sky Italia. Ocon will spend 2019 as the third and reserve driver for Mercedes after his contract with Force India expired. The plans are pretty clear, said Mercedes boss Toto Wolff. He is going to be pretty close to the Mercedes team, he will be our reserve driver and third driver. We hope to do the odd test with him, we are looking at pre-season and in-season but it's not sorted out yet. He will do a lot of time in the simulator to make sure that he is ready. And Akon is confident of being back in an F1 cockpit in 2019. Definitely I will be around in the F1 paddock and trying to get as much mileage as possible in a Formula 1 car next year, said Akon. Me and Mercedes, we see great opportunities for me to come back in 2020. So hopefully that will be the case and hopefully I will be back even stronger than I am now. Force India, who will be renamed Racing Point after falling into financial trouble, replaced Akon with Lance Stroll, son of new owner Lawrence Stroll. Next news F1 News 2018, Renault change name ahead of Daniel Ricciardo move, with Ferrari, Red Bull and Hostweeks as well. This new name and new logo will be assets to achieve the strategic objectives of developing Renault's reputation and brand image through our commitment to Formula One, while continuing to support the company's product ranges, especially in the sports segment, a team statement said. This new logo is more compact and more readable. Renault's Losange the diamond emblem, is now directly associated to the team name without any separation. Renault are just the latest team to change their name with Ferrari becoming skewed during a Ferrari mission window from next season while Haas will become rich energy. Haas F1 team and Red Bull has dropped Tag Heuer as its engine naming sponsor. Force India has been changed to Racing Point F1 team but that name will be changed again ahead of the new season. Next news foes Lewis Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel swap helmets and show of respect. In a rarely seen showing of competitive camaraderie, Lewis Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel swapped crash helmets to demonstrate the mutual respect between them after Sunday's Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. The five time champion Britain, of Mercedes, and four time champion German, of Ferrari finished first and second in Sunday's race and have won eight of the last nine drivers' championship titles. The ultimate respect between racing drivers, said Mercedes on Monday in a comment on Twitter alongside a short video clip of the pair exchanging their headwear. Neeks News F1 News, Fernando Alonso would return for Mercedes or Ferrari, insists his former Renault boss. Fernando Alonso will end his Formula One retirement after just one year, should Ferrari or a Mercedes call for him, according to his former team boss Flavio Briator. The Spaniard bowed out of F1 at the end of the 2018 season following yet another frustrating and uncompetitive campaign with McLaren as he seeks to reduce his workload and give himself a mental break. Another reason he decided to turn his back on the sport is because he wants to complete motorsport's unofficial triple crown, with just the Indianapolis 500 remaining. 
Alonso said he needed a break after the season finale in Abu Dhabi but did admit he was open to a potential return. And Briator, who was in charge at Renault when Alonso won back-to-back -back titles in 2005 and 2006, believes his former driver would return should he have the chance to be in a competitive car and cited Alain Prost's example who took a year off after leaving Ferrari before winning another world title with Williams upon his return. If Mercedes or Ferrari knock on Fernando's door, he will undoubtedly return, Briator said. For now he needs a rest. I think that after so many years, he needs a little break, many have done it. Like Prost and he will take a sabbatical but I am not so sure he will not return again. There are only two teams, Mercedes or Ferrari, there are no other solutions. The other options are finishing fourth, fifth or sixth. Someday teams will realize that to win the Constructors Championship they need to have two strong drivers in the team. So, we will see what happens in a few months or a year. Formula One without Alonso is like Real Madrid without Cristiano Ronaldo, he is one of the few recognizable stars. If you remove the overalls from the current guys I only recognize Lewis, Vettel, Rikkonen and that's it. Next news F1 news, Max Verstappen's public service punishment could involve working for stewards. Max Verstappen could work closely with stewards from another motorsport category as part of his Formula One public service punishment. The Red Bull driver was handed two days of public service after repeatedly shoving former Force India driver Esteban Ocon after the two clashed at the Brazilian Grand Prix last month. Verstappen, the race leader, tried to pass Ocon, the back marker but the two colliding and spin off the track, allowing Lewis Hamilton to win and the fuming Dutchman to get home in second. He then confronted his longtime rival in the paddock afterwards and was caught shoving him before being summoned to the stewards and handed his punishment. Verstappen has said he will not be made to look like an idiot but FIA president Jean Todt insisted it has to be something that will be supportive to the Formula One world. It's raw emotion but when you have these kinds of exposures, this kind of fame, it gives you also responsibilities, Todd told Sky Sports F1. So it means that whatever your emotions you must be able to control them. And to respect your supporters. To respect your word. If not you have some consequences. But I will say the consequences finally are quite small. What will it be? Honestly nothing has been decided. But clearly it has to be something that will be supportive to the Formula One world, supportive to the racing world. Maybe a contribution to work closer with some stewards or some officials during some training, during some education groups. We have different things which are going to happen next year. Maybe participate in a group panel of stewards in another category of motorsport to put yourself on the other side and understand that it's not always easy. But I'm sure we'll find some constructive programs. Next news Vettel not expecting any bullshit from the clerk at Ferrari. Ferrari driver Sebastian Vettel has said that he doesn't expect any bullshit from his new teammate Charles Leclerc, as the German will have to acclimatize to a new teammate after four years of Kimi Räikkönen. Vettel and Räikkönen always got on well, with the Finn being famously low maintenance. Vettel realizes that Leclerc will be a completely different beast compared to the unique beast that is Kimi Räikkönen, but he still expects things to go well between himself and the Mongasque. Obviously Charles is different to Kimi, so we will see how it goes, but I think he's a good kid, Vettel was quoted by Crash.net. One thing for sure that I enjoyed a lot in the last years is the mutual respect that we have for each other. 
I think we never had to deal with any bulls tea between ourselves, so that made it easier for me, easier for him I guess and easier for the team. But I'm not expecting anything in that direction from Charles. I think he's a good kid. Obviously the team knows him very well for a while now, since he's grown in the Ferrari Drivers Academy. I'm, happy for him, and then we'll see how it works out. When asked if he would be under more pressure from Leclerc next season compared to seasons past with Erkanen in the other garage, the four-time champion simply explained that every teammate always wants to beat the other. I think it doesn't matter who you are racing in the team, you always try to win. And that means you also beat whoever is driving with you in the same team. So I don't think that changes. Thank you for watching the video. Be sure to share and subscribe to your channel to get the latest sports news around the world. Wished health and success. Goodbye.